Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start. So, okay. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm, I'm Charles Lee as a control product manager in South East Asia area. So today I'm going to introduce the Delta new PLC, new generation PLC AS series. Uh, right now, actually, we have two, uh, two type AS2 and AS3. So today's training, uh, so before the training, uh, please uh, mute your speaker if you don't speak to make to have a, a good environment for, for all. And also uh, place name has the rule like a country and company and your name. This is uh, easy to let us know. Uh, uh, and and uh, easy to let us uh, uh, answer your, your question if you have. And after the training, there will be a Q and A uh, section. So uh, please feel free to ask if you have any question during the whole uh, introduction. So today uh, in this web webinar, you will learn three things. First, uh, more, more familiar about the Delta PLC family. If you are old customer, if you know Delta already, so uh, we can help you to review again. But if you are new to Delta, I think it's very easy to let you in, uh, to let you know what is a Delta PLC during the past 20 years. And second thing is more about the feature of AS series. We have several features uh, from, from uh, uh, later I will, I will tell you the details. And last one is the successful case about the AS PLC. Okay, so first one, Delta PLC family. Delta PLC start uh, from 1999. Uh, we start from the microtype. Uh, as you know, the famous one in the OEM marketing. Uh, we start from the E series. And right now we have several models to in market, like a EC, ES. I think the most one is the most popular one is the ES two series. And and later on, we 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 start the modular type, which is very very slim. You see, uh, uh, we have uh, SE, SS two several models, and and uh, one. And and then we go to the motion control. We go to the motion control like a synchronized uh, with the ECAM function, which the cycle time will be very uh, fast, and the controls very precisely. And and next we go to the uh, AS series, which is we call the new generation PLC. Uh, I think the, the position is between the modular and the, the rack, rank type. Rank, rack type is like a medium PLC with the redundancy function, with the safety function. So for the AS series, the, the positioning is between the modular type and the uh, rack, rack type. And, and, and then we go to the rack type. We, this one is, uh, if if compared to the others, I would like to see Siemens uh, S7 300 series. So this is uh, the medium PLC. And right now we have the hardware redundant CPU. And in the future, we will have the safety function. We will have the IoT uh, platform, all, all the advantage function in this one. Okay. So back to AS PLC, we can see the, 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 the positioning more detail. Uh, so I think in, in PLC, if you're familiar with this product in, in industry field, uh, normally we separate uh, the PLC into three parts. First one is a small PLC, second one is a medium PLC, and then we go to the large PLC. 
but right now I think the the gap between each other is small, small and the smaller. So for Delta right now, we, we, we focus on small PLC and uh, medium PLC. And, and if you go to the, uh, these directions, uh, we can see we usually we separate the product by the IO type, uh, IO point. So if less than 500 tax, uh, we recommend small PLC. And we have two side, two two type slim. This one uh, more suitable for the project or for the normal industrial uh, cabinet control cabinet. And for this one, the the brick type, the brick micro type one, more suitable for the OEM because the AC input and the I/O directly wiring is more suitable for the OEM. The, for the machine. Uh, okay. And then, uh, sorry, I would like to mute uh, you first. If you want to speak, please uh, unmute yourself. So I would like to mute all first. Okay. Okay, and then we go to the, the AS. You can see, uh, okay, let me, let me introduce the, the medium PLC first, the AH series. Well, this one, uh, normally we, we, we use the, the IO point from start from uh, 1,000 to maximum around 4,000 4, 4, for the local IO point. So this is a medium PLC. Uh, we support the hot, sweatable and uh, redundancy function for this one. So for the AS, you can see uh, between these two products, uh, this one is more like a compact rack list uh, modular advanced PLC. We put some uh, advanced function in, into it. And uh, also the size is, more, is smaller than before. So, okay. Okay, so for this picture, I would like you have a very clearly uh, picture about Delta PLC. Although we have many, many models, but uh, actually I think after, uh, after I show this picture and, uh, and uh, introduce to you, you will, we will have a very clearly uh, thinking about the, the, the PLC. So in case if you have some requirement, which one is more suitable for you? So uh, I, I will quickly introduce this. So for the normal, normal uh, purpose uh, of the, the, the PLC, we separate into like a micro type. As I said, this is for the OEM, for the machine mostly because of the, uh, the AC power input and also the build in the input and output also with the analog and the digital. And next one is a modular type. Modular type, uh, we, we have the uh, normal communication and also we have the Ethernet uh, modular by TCP uh, communication. And, and then we go to the, the AS series. You can see first the local IO point is up to 1000 point. And second one, the programming capacity is up to 128. K step. We used we use this one to count the uh, to count the, the programming capacity. And also you can see the CPU, the cycle time, the execution time is, is very, very fast. So just 25 nanoseconds. So next one is a rank PLC as a medium PLC, H5, H series, and the local. IO point is up to 4,000 and uh, the programming capacity is up to one mega. And for the, for the modular, for the module, because for PLC, if you, if you use this before, if you're familiar with PLC, I think you know, PLC, we can separate the CPU and the extension module. Uh, I can see 50, 50 of them. 
because of normally if you if there is a project uh maybe just one cpu but you but you need a uh, maybe 10 or 20 or even more the extension module so here i i separate delta plc module into three portion io in, input and output uh, network and other functions so for input and output uh, we we have digital and analog and digital we have three type pure input output or mix together and for the point we start from eight point up to 64 but normally uh, if if uh, if above 32 we need the extension cable to link from the module to another connection board because the the space is in a no no space but for the 8 and 16 we can directly wiring the cable into the module no problem and for the analog similar way the the channel is uh, start from four six and eight channels input and output and for the analog we have two types first one is a uh, normal one the resolution around 16 bit and uh, and also we have the fast analog which the response time is very very fast okay and uh, next one is uh, network for network i separate into two parts local and the remote so for the local we support the model bus device that can open proper bus and also the mobile tcp and ethernet ip and for the remote remote unit that means maybe the distance is very long from very far from the central plc so for for uh, re remote unit uh, we support device night profit bus and can open and based on the ethernet uh, we support the profit net and the ethernet ip but for profit net we only support the slave model next one is the function we support the temperature module this one only monitoring and for the motion control and for the low cell for the low cell we uh, for the temperature we support both type rtd and the thermal couple uh, the channel is uh, two type four six and eight and for pulse pulse is like an extension uh, module if the cpu uh, motion control axis is not enough so we will add the this pulse model so the channel is from one two and up to four for channel and high speed counter and low cell low cell we support dynamic uh, measure no problem okay and this is the the motion plc uh this one uh if you maybe someone not familiar with the motion so i will quickly introduce this for delta we have i, I separate the non-synchronized and the synchronized so for non-synchronized uh, mostly like a point to point move and uh, position move so for this one i separate by pulse and can open for pulse uh we start from two four and six axis by local cpu and for can open uh, it's eight axis for synchronized type we have three uh, pulse can open and ethernet mostly we focus on in, in the motion control plc the mc series but today i'm not gonna to uh, introduce this so let's put on our uh, focus on the as series by today okay so here's uh, the pictures of as series i would like to introduce one by one so first we let, let let's have a outlook for the for the asc asplc first <coughs> so the basic logic is the left extension only the the the, 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 the power module the power module we have two method you can use this one to support the power supply for the plc or you can use the 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 the, 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 the other industrial power supply we we have the another input so both two kind of power supply we can support 
And for this part is the, the CPU unit for the CPU unit. So, so we can see for first one for the communication, we support the USB. USB mostly is the purpose is for the download and upload the, the program. It's mini USB. And next one is the, the RG4845 uh, port, the Ethernet port. So this port also we can do the programming, download and upload. And also we can do the data exchange. Data exchange, we support the both bar TCP and Ethernet IP and also socket on this one. And for the for the under underside, there is a two port of the the communication C, C, serial communication port, the normal one, I RS forty five. We support the two isolate ports. And this is the communication, and also we have the LED indicator to show you the status of the CPU. And also for the AS three series we support the two part of the function card two part of the function card so for the function card uh, you can select here uh, mostly is the, the communication mostly is the communication And right now we oh, we also support the Profinet Profinet module here, so the Profinet will be like a slave model. Later I will I will explain more. So so this is a CPU unit, and after that, uh, we support the 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 extension model. So extension model here we we have the we have the digital analog and the network low cell and uh, the and also device night device night uh, we will support the uh, sooner for the for this one so this is uh, the whole outlook of the ASPLC okay next next slide next so uh, I will tell you the CPU, the advantage. So first we support the two function card. Uh, there's a, mostly it's a communication function. And also if the analog not enough, we can also input the analog function card here. And also the USB programming. And also we, we support the micro SD card. Micro SD card, the function can be backup and restore the, the program, or if some uh, some error happen, can record into the SD card. And also even can download the PLC without the laptop. And next one is, uh, okay, four RS485 ports, it's totally isolated. And also it's a net communication. Uh, so for the all series of AS PLC, we support Ethernet IP. So compare with the mobile TCP, I think the there's a there's a many advantage, like the communication uh, stable, right? more stable, and also the speed is more more fast. If if you have the many data data exchange. If you use the, if you try this mobile TCP and Ethernet IP, you will know the difference. And next one is the built-in I/O. So later on, I will show you the built-in I/O in, inside the CPU unit because we have several models, and some models we build in the analog. Some model will build in uh, many, many I.O. So uh, later on, I will explain, uh, introduce to you later. Okay, so I think first one, the, the huge advantage compared with the DVP series is the CPU performance. 
So Delta for this PLC, we customize the CPU with the uh, with the like so called the uh, uh, SOC the system on chip. So we integrate more function in, into that and also the speed more faster. So you can see the LD instruction. The, this is a ladder, ladder uh, we use like ladder uh, programming lang language. So the execution time just 25 nanosecond. And for the move instruction, it's even uh, it's, uh, uh, around 0 0.15 uh, uh, micro, microsecond. And we support the two series, AS3 and the AS2. So later on, I will show you the difference. So again, this is uh, the CPU high efficiency uh, computing. You can see this is a customized the IC chip is 22 bit CPU. So if you compare with the ES3, which is the micro type, brick type, uh, you can see the, no matter the LD, the move or the float calculation, the execution time is up to 10 times faster or even 40 times faster. So this is the first uh, feature about the CPU. And also for the data exchange between the CPU unit and the extension model. So for the common PLC, uh, like a Delta DVP PLC as before, so the the, the process is like uh, one every time the the CPU will do the data exchange from the first model to the last one. The execution the cycle time like uh, like uh, one plus two one plus three. So the more modulars, the slower update the data exchange speed. So let's see for the AS series we totally uh, upgrade the design. So you will see it's different like before. We do the data exchange just by one time. We, you can see from the CPU, we exchange all the data with the module at the same time. So it's, the, so the cycle time of the data exchange will be very, very faster than before. And and also this is uh, the I/O remote I/O solutions. Uh, as you know before, the DVP series we use the normal Ethernet mobile TCP. And right now, since we support Ethernet IP, so the, no matter the stable, the data, and also the uh, speed, it's totally upgrade. And also we, we support the new uh, SD fixtures to like a simple, uh, the, the cost to save your time. So for example, if your the manufacturer, the OEM customers in, in, the, in the North, if you are in the, the big area, but your, your customer, which, which is very far away from you. So in this case, uh, if you don't want to provide the, the program directly to your customer, but you cannot, which is very difficult for you to go on the, go to the site to support. So in this case, you can put the, the, the code with the, with the, the security already uh, passed the, the, the code. And then you send, just send the SD card to uh, program, to download the, the program. And also, uh, we don't need the we don't need the, the battery for keep the data, and for the RTC function, we use the this one the normal uh, battery. You can find this one in the in the market. Okay, next one is the the building motion. Okay, I use this picture for your reference. Uh, so first we can we can we can we can saw the 
he saw the red one, the pulse. I think for the for the motion control, normally for the two axes, four axes, until now still like uh, eighty percent of all the 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 machine maker they still prefer the pulse due to the cost more cheaper and the response time still faster because they are directly linked, right? Directly linked. So Pulse still is a huge market and also still many customer prefer the, the Pulse even the if the, the access is not so many. So uh, this is a very big advantage compared with before because we, we support the, the Pulse up to six axes by instruction. By instruction means we, we build in the, the, the motion control instruction already inside the program, like uh, like uh, back to home, homing and the relative uh, move. Just one instruction can uh, finish all the settings. But there is uh, another advantage use. It's up to 12 axis by the, by the pulse the speed so to 20, 200 kilohertz. But this one, you need to do a little more programming for this one. So next one is a can open. For can open, uh, we have two, um, two, two type. First one, uh, axis by instruction. By instruction means also with, with Delta, we, we build in all the control inside the instruction. So you don't need to touch the DS301, this, which is uh, the protocol of the can open. Only one instruction, you can finish all the, uh, all the programming. And again, if you are uh, advantage, uh, there's advantage provide to customer if you are more familiar with the DS301, which is, uh, which is uh, the protocol of the can open. Uh, we can up to 32 axes by programming to control the data, uh, data address, follow the DS31, no problem. And several uh, features like a high-speed counter up to six channels. And also we have a 16 external input interrupt and also 16 input filters. Uh, filters like if some, uh, if your machine at the side may have the noise from the, the other machine, e big equipment, maybe the sense, the input signal is not stable. So in this case, you like to use the, the filters. And also the linear and the arc interrupt uh, interpolation, no problem. So this is uh, the whole picture of the motion control. Okay, and this is the instruction we we already uh, building all the things into the into the into the instruction so like the for example like the homing uh, we support the many types of the method to let the customer to select which kind of the homing uh, progress they would like maybe they want the home sensor maybe they want the negative uh, limited limitation. So it's all, it's all built in the instruction already. So which is easy to customer for the programming also to uh, reduce their, their loading. Okay, and next one is the quick installation and easy maintenance. So as you know, before we provide we, we, we have the DAP and the AH series. This one is a thin reel, this one is the backplane design. So there are all, uh, of course there is some advantage and shortage. So for the AS series, first you can see also it's, a, it's based on thin reel. And second one, for remove the module, it's no need to slide move the module or because if you do the wiring by yourself, you will know which is very difficult after everything settled, when you open the control panel to move to slide 
move the unit, which is very difficult things for the operate for the for the for who doing this job. So for for AI series, we support to remove the module uh, vertically, vertically. So for the right side, for the left side, no need to release the thin wheel and to move again. So which is very uh, save your time, also save your cost. And okay, and this is uh, also the the top click ring. No need the screw to fix. We use the back clean and top clean to fix the 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 CPU. And I think the anti uh, vibration is up to three G three G the gra gra gravity. And next one is the easy installation. You can see the the space, the height, just 20, 88 millimeters, which also save your space in the control panel. And next one is the, the terminal, it's a terminal. As you know, for the, for before, if you try, if you use the DVP or H series, you know, uh, you know, we have to do the wiring. We have to do the wire, wiring by the screw. You have to, we have to use the screw to fix the wiring into the module. But for the AS, we provide the two solutions. For AS3 series, we provide the accessories to, this is a very high density density of the of the IO, uh, more than 30, 30 point. So we provide the cable and the connection box to wiring the, the, the cable. But if you don't want to buy so many accessories, we provide the EU terminal. This is, uh, I think this is uh, quite normal in the market right now. Many Europe brands use this, uh, this kind of design like uh, back off. Uh, you just use the some uh, something, or even your finger to press the the the, the orange the orange part, and then insert the cable. Uh, so also very easy and uh, save your time. Okay, so this is a uh, another fixtures. No need the screw less, and save your time. And this is another uh, pictures of the of the terminal uh, because there's a, another uh, uh, potential uh, risks for the wiring. What if the it's a losing? It's a loose. The the cable the cable out of uh, it can it's cannot uh, input the terminal very unstable. So this is another risk. So uh, so for, for the AS series, you can see the designs. Uh, this is a cable, this is a, the cover, and this is a, the, this is a core. So we, we, we have this uh, new type of the design. If you insert the, the cable already, and if you want to, uh, uh, want to pull out, uh, there's uh, some mechanical design to fix to fix uh, to fix the, 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 the cable, to hold the cable. So it's very, I think it's very good for my own experience. Okay, and next one we go to the, 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 the multiple industrial network. So as I said before, for the AS series, we support the Ethernet uh, IP for all the series for all the AS series, no matter the CPU unit or no matter the extension, the network, the, the module, it's all support the Ethernet IP. So you can see for the maximum connection to the slip, I mean from the one Ethernet IP master to the, to the slip, it's up to 32, it's up to 32 stations. So each of the device here is a one station, it's up to 32. And for the data exchange, it's up to 500 
bytes for each of the unit, each of the unit. And, and also we do the data scan, do the data exchange in only in one time. And then we exchange the data with all the device, only, in, in, only one time scan. So which is uh, totally different from like uh, more participant. Okay, and before it's the Ethernet IP, Ethernet IP. Ethernet IP, they have some advantage and also have some shortage, shortage like the distance, distance, only less than 100 meters, or, or, or if you have some switch to, to do the into it. But if you want the long distance, which is very long, so here we provide the, the can open, can open the solution, so if you know the can open is based on can can bus, right? For the automotive, we, this is a very popular uh, communication protocol. So for Delta, uh, for the AS3, for the AS3, because this one we support the function card, so we will provide the fun, the the can open function card. You can put this one into the into the slot, or if you. Uh, if you don't need the, the fixture of the ES3, and if you want the can open, so we provide ES2 series. This one, the can open is already built in, no need the function card, no need the function card. So can save your cost also. And next one is the ProfitNet. For ProfitNet, uh, we provide the, the function card. So that means this one only support the AS3 series, AS3 series. So for the ProfitNet function card, you can see we provide the two RG4845 ports. Uh, and also we support the ProfitNet RT, but only in sleep mode. So this one, if you do have the project, they have the Siemens PLC in the master control but for the remote CPU, if you want more cost savings, I, I, I recommend for this one, for this one. So that means you can link with the Siemens PLC by ProfitNet with, the, with the, this model. And the max, maximum connection is up to 16 connections and the data exchange is 250 words. Okay, and for right now, for this function card, we only support in the AS3 uh, CPU, only one model. But in the second half year, we will support the, the, the communication module, AS, SCM module. This one will be in the second half year. Okay, and next one is the uh, software, software. So as you know, uh, in the very long, long time ago, we provide the WPL software for the DVP series for the programming. But since I think 10 years before, we, we provide the ISP software. This one is more like a European type. We, we support the function block and we support separate, separate, separate the, the programming. And, uh, and also the hardware configuration. So, and, and also, and right, so right now we, we have the another, so I, I, can, I, I can see like a one software, similar like a Siemens protocol, TIA port, portable, and like a Omron uh, SysMac. Well, later on I will, I will show you. So uh, for the AS, for the ISP software, it support the IEC, uh, follow the IEC programming software. The language, I mean the language like a letter, the ST, FSF, SFC, etc. And also the modular programming structure. Uh, we separate, as I said, I, we, we can separate the program, programming into many, many uh, units. And for the date for the network mapping, if you have the many many uh, device at the site, so for the ISP soft, 
we support the net mapping, network mapping, but just just like uh, uh, K in the data, K in no need to do any programming. So there's a function called hardware configuration inside the ISP software. So within this one, you can easily to build up the mobile TCP or Ethernet IP or even can open. And another uh, features is a di diagonal tools for 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 monitor the system. <laughs> so here you can see this is a more like a wave scope can monitor the input can also can monitor the output real time. And also this this is a real time uh, diagonal monitoring uh, function. You can see the at the side what is the uh, real time uh, fun status right now. If there is an error, if you do the right click, you will see the details, and you you can see how to uh, uh, how to fix the the errors. So which is very uh, more quickly for the for the network build up. And for the software, we provide the best security protection design. Uh, as you, I think if you are OEM machine makers, you, your your programming is very valuable because this is uh, you put many many industry know how into it. So, that of course you want to protect your your program. But I think in the in the past, there are some very. Uh, very some there's maybe like a hacker they can hack into the IC and can, can get the the code can get the code by the physical type or, or physical layers or something. So uh, for Delta we 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 consider this long very very long time. So in this time we we provide the IC duplication. We we we, we do this one into the into the IC into into the chip. So that means even some hackers they go into the the physical layer, they still cannot hack the, the program. And also we provide a more uh, more method of the the password. For example, uh, in ASPLC we pro we provide like an execution code. This one is different different from the, the program. So when you select to download the the program into the PLC, you have two selection. First one is uh, the full program. Second one, just like uh, execution code. So for execution code, you uh, if you choose this one, next time, if you want to upload the program from the PLC, oh, it no. is uh, impossible because uh, we will transfer the the program into the into the the, the IC code into the very very deep layer. So for the so if someone want to upload your program at the site, it's this is uh, not gonna happen. Okay. So for next one is the specifications. First, I would like to summarize all the extension things of the the of the ASCPU because. As I said, the extension model, this is another big portion about the PLC. So simply to see for the local digital input and the output, we maximum support the up to thousand point, thousand point, uh, no matter input and output, totally 1000. And for the, A, uh, for the analog input and the output, it's a maximum 16 module. 16 module means the one module could be four channel, six channel, or eight channels. It's up to you. We're only limited by the module. So if we use eight channel or module, you can you can think maximum is 140 analog channels, analog channel. But this is only uh, locally, local, right? If you do the remote extensions, this is another thing. All I'm talking about here is the local, uh, local extension. 
And next one is the, the module, the module. So for the local extension, the maximum 32 module uh, from the CPU uh, to the right side to the extension, 32 module. And next one is the, the local communications. Local communications, uh, for example, uh, MOBAS, Ethernet IP, device night can open. The maximum is a full module for the local communication extension. But for each of them, you can link with a more and more sleep, no problem. And next one is the remote CPU station, maximum 15 CPU. So that means if you do the remote linking, maybe uh, provide by the can open, maybe by MOBUS. So the remote CPU up to 15 unit. And each of the remote station can extend the maximum eight module, no matter digital, no matter analog, or no matter temperature unit, up to eight unit. So you can do like a calculation, eight multiple 15, more than 100, uh, more than 100. Okay, I would like you to take a note of this picture. Uh, to do which is very uh, easy when you if you want to do the extension so this is very helpful i think this is uh, very helpful okay let's see some specification of the as plc's so basically we have two uh two sub type first one is as 300 S three hundred four in into the in, if you go into that uh, we have three three two three four two three two four three two zero many models I I know uh, which is very maybe very let you confuse uh, so so this picture I just let you have a look first later on I will do some uh, comparison to clearly let you know which is uh, the right model you have to you need to select. If you if you do the model selection, okay. And next one is the uh, AS two hundreds, AS two hundreds. So I could see eighty or ninety percent the specification is totally the same, especially the the CPU performance, especially the 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 model is all is all is all the same. So let's see what is uh, the the difference, okay? So for the same part, uh, for the CPU, for the extension model, it's all the same. So for the difficult, uh, for the different part. So first one, AS3 series, it support the function card, which is a AS2, don't have, don't have. So if your project is like a remote, remote unit, uh, I could see 80% you have to select AS3, okay. And next one is the program capacities. For AS3, it's up to 128 key step. But for AS2, it's just half. So if your project is the, the logic, I could say it's not, not the easy logic. It's, some, it's very uh, complicated logic, or it's a long pro process of your, your, your control. In this case, I also recommend the AS3 to you because the of because of the the program capacities. Next one is the has been counter, uh, for six for AS3 and four channels for AS2. And next one is the uh, network connections. Basically, AS2 the network connection numbers only half only half from the AS3. So you could see the mobile TCP. Uh, here I use plus. So I mean, it means totally the connections from the from the CPU, from the RG45 ports. It's up to 32 connections. So for the AS2, only half, like a 16. And also same thing like a socket, the SMTP. This one support the four, un four connections for each for each, but for, oh, sorry, here I, I should put two. For AS2, it's only support the two connections. 
Okay. So for AS3, um, right now we have six, six models in the market, in the market. But I separate the, the model into three groups. First one is the, the AS, this one, the IO is the most, it support the 32, 32 IO inside the, into the CPU, but the, it, it need the cable extend, cable extend. You have to buy the cable and buy the connection box and do the wire, do the wiring. Cannot it directly insert into here, cannot. So this is the first group. And second group is uh, this one. So you can see the difference is we remove the terminal and put the EU type. So that means the wiring is very uh, friendly. No need a screw drive, screw driver. So, but the 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 IO only twenty point, only 20, 20 point. But I think the ten, the IO mostly people use the extension cable, is extension model. So, so the only things you have to concern is the the cable direct no wiring, the the for the CPU. And next one is the AS three zero none none means no IO at the CPU unit. So this case, uh, mostly we, we pro, we, we, I, I could see we used in the project, for the project the purpose. For example, like linked to the Siemens master by Profinet. So for this one, you can put the Profinet con communication card into the slot and then use the right side extension to, to do the digital IO and the analog IO data extension, no problem. Okay, so for the AS3, I could see mostly if your program is, is uh, compl uh, complete and you want more network connection, uh, AS3 would be your, your, your choice and also the project and also the project. Normally in the central control room, like a water treatment or water monitoring. Normally in the cent center control room, there's no IO requirement. So for the center control room, I, I, I suggest the for, for this one. Okay, so let's say AS, AS2. For AS2, we also have six model in the market right now. <laughs> but here I, I group into two groups. First one is the, uh, you can see 28 means 28. Uh, I/O point. And first one, the AS2 is also called the can open, can open build in, can open build in, right? So that means you don't need to buy the communication card separately. It's already built in. It's already built in, and all we support the 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 open can op, can open. It's all follow the follow the the standard and. 28 IO build in, okay. And this is uh, the first group. For the second group, uh, 18 means only support 18 IO, digital IO. But for this one, we support the analog input and output. You can see here, two input and two output. Also you can see from the picture, it's analog input and output. So so if your case, uh, maybe the IO is not too many, but you you require the digital and analog at the same time. So maybe this type would be your, your best choice, best the choice. Okay, so uh, so for here, I, I think all the pictures and all the specification will uh, finish. And next one, I would like to share some successful case of the ASPLC because this one we already run in the maybe in the market China more 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 project in, in China market because there's a uh, so many uh, customer for, for there. Uh, so uh, for the successful case, I'd like to introduce by three portion. First one is the machine automations, machine automations, and second one is the factory automations. And next one is the process automations. Okay, so let's see the OEM first the machine automation. 
And this one is uh, the project in, in China. It's a water with a laser cleaving uh, machine. It's uh, like a laser cutting, like a laser cutting. But this project, they require the many, many uh, axis controls. So if you could see here for the green light, it's a uh, Ethernet communications within to the visions, within to the visions by Ethernet, uh, vision, mo maybe mobile TCP or maybe Ethernet IP. And up, up here is a SCADA software, it's a China brand. Up here is a SCADA. So, uh, all the Ethernet communication go to the AS CPU. Uh, you can see for the device layer, uh, there's a two communication network. First one is uh, can open. So here we link to Delta servo, A2, uh, A2 servos by can open. Uh, totally it, it access by the, by the instruction. So so here's to do some uh, precisely control by servo motor. Uh, next one, the blue one, blue line is uh, by pulse, by pulse. So here you can see we use a step motor, totally up to 12 step motors. So as I said, for AS3, we support the up to 12 axis. Each axis, the speed frequency is uh, 200 kilohertz. This is, I think this is a typical uh, spec in the market right now. So in this case, uh, we use some programming to 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 realize the the twelve axis control. Maybe some step motor they they don't need the direction. They only need the speed. But maybe some they need the the direct directions. So we use another I O to control the I O with some. Uh, with some uh, programming, so it, it can do, no problem. Okay, next one is the blow film extruder machine in Thailand. Uh, as you know, Thailand is a very big market for the, for, for, for this kind of the, the product. So in this case, we have the HMI on the top, HMI on the top, uh, and then we link to the Ethernet switch, and also for the HMI, it's also linked to the temperature control, which has more than like a 20 or 40 channels, because you know the this is a, like a big process control machine. Uh, they, they have many, many temperature re, uh, control requirements. So we use the Delta temperature control by the like the module type. Uh, and then we go to the ASPLCs. For this one, the main function is to control the uh, the, the, the inverters, the inverters by Mobus. Okay, this is a second uh, case. Next one is the rubber, rubber molding product production line. So <clears throat> this one is not like only one machine. Actually, it's a, like a production line. We link. We link the two kind of this machine uh, to even more. Totally, I think totally five, totally five. So you can see each of the. You can see up here is a delta. This is a SCADA system. Uh, this one is a Delta SCADA system, and then we go to the Ethernet switch, and then go link with the HMI PLC, and for the device layer we have the inverter power meter and the temperature controller. And for this case, I, I think we use the mobile TCP for, for the network communications because still some device do not, can, do not support Ethernet IP. Okay, next one is the, the, the automatic uh, glue sprayer, sprayer. So actually this one is linked to the, the SCARA. The, the robot, the robot, and also linked to the upper, upper system, like a PQM, uh, like a MES system, manual uh, manufacturing executed system. So I think right now more and more factory, they have this requirement. They want to collect all the data from the machine by real time, and then save the data by the MES 
or some data database. And then in the future, maybe they will go to the big data. They, they could do some uh, uh, analysis and then back to the machine to improve the quality, improve the production. I, I do see this kind of the requirement more and more right now in the market. So, so what is the, uh, so what is the, uh, all these things for PLCs, what is the requirement? So I think first one is the network communication. You have to, uh, you have to support more and more to integrate all the device. And second one is the speed of the data exchanging. Like the, for here, we support the Ethernet IP, which is very uh, stable and faster to, to change the data. And next one is a um, uh, milling and the polish machine. And this one we use can open to control the uh, five C five five axis uh, servo plus inverters. But for this one, we integrate with the IOT solutions uh, because this is a I think it's a high value machines. So customer they do want to uh, uh, monitor the, the the machine. What no matter the machine sell to which. Uh, area of the in, 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 in the world. They want to real-time monitor the machines. So they they set up the VPN server and Delta will provide this product to link to the Ethernet. And then by VPN functions, the customer, they can see all the machines sell to the to the world. By, and they can see all the data see inside their in their in their office by the VPN uh, VPN functions. Okay, and this is another uh, pizza machine. Uh -huh. It's a little funny. This one I think in in, think in the airport they they provide this kind of the machine. So in this machine we we provide the servo with the PLC to do. Because in, into it, there's uh, many axis control to make the pizza and to, to, to burn it and then deliver to the customer. And next one is the mask welding machine. This one, there's totally uh, seven axis by can open control. Uh, normally, I, I could see can open the price is very competitive compared with the EtherCAD because you know the EtherCAD uh, actually is not not cheap. So for the can open, this is still our uh, our I could see the most uh, competitive solution for the for the for the multi axis requirement. Customer they don't want the pulse, they don't want to do so many wirings. They they want the communication solutions. Calvin still still be I I could see it still be the the first choice. Okay. And next one is the I think this one is like a factory automations. It's a warehouse warehouse transportations. You could see in the picture it's a vertical uh, rack rank, and we 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 control this uh, RGV or you could see AGV into each of the positions and then get the target material and then back to the positions. So in this case, you could see uh, first, uh, because this is a, there's a no cable linked to each of the units. So we use the wireless Ethernet, wireless Ethernet switch. We use a lot in, inside, the, inside the factory. Some as the client, some as a repeater, some as a AP. It's all supported by Delta Ethernet switch. And then we link to the ASPLC. So for the ASPLC, there's two functions. First one in, inside the, the RGV, it has to control the up and down X, Y, Z uh, uh, movement. So for this one, we use the can open to control the axis into, into the RGV. And second one is, uh, is the rank. At each of the rank there has some uh, movement you have to control. So this is another uh, case for your reference. And next one is, uh, uh, this one is like, I think like a process automation. 
because first there is a very huge wired space. This one is a pump station monitoring and the manage management system in Thailand. As you know, Thailand is uh, every every year there's a, I think a half year the the this a rain season rain season. So there's a many many uh, rivers or some lake inside the the countries. So the authorized the the water authorized authority or uh, government they have to uh they have to do some management of the the, the water in case of sometimes a heavy rain come they have to pull the water into the another 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 uh locations so uh the requirement they they have to monitor all the river or lakes and uh, and each of the station they have the vft we are inverters to control the to control the pump but before uh before uh actually the operator they have to go to the river every day check by one by one check the check the the pump station because sometimes even they do have some auto control inside the station to can to turn on the vfd to turn on turn off the inverters but actually for the for the real operations the the people still prefer control by manually manually because sometimes maybe they don't need to turn on or sometimes they don't need to turn off so for the real things they still control by themselves but you know the go to each station day by day is a very difficult job or so for for this we will provide the first is iot solutions uh it's a 3g uh solutions by the delta cloud and then for each of the station, we use AS3 PLC to link with the HMI and the inverters to the local control and then do the data exchange with the, with the cloud. And then the customer in, in, in the central control room, they just do the remote control and do the remote monitoring by uh, just one people. Very, uh, re very uh, reduce their, their loadings. And the next one is a smart control solution provider. I think this one is like a MRT solution in in in, in Taiwan. In Taiwan, uh, we we use the ASPLC to uh, link with the power meter to monitor all the environment environment parameter about the about the MRT the and then we go to the the central control to use the EMS energy management sub system to monitor all the all the the situation and then I also can access by the mob app, app, apps on the mobile phone. Next one is uh, in, in China. We link with the HMI by mobile TCP. And then we link with the inverters by Ethernet IP. This is a third party VFD. We let them to provide the ESD file and then control by the ES, uh, EIP solutions, no problem. And does AS support OPC UE? Uh, I think right now OPC UE is very popular and it's, it's like a trend in the future. So the answer answer is around this quarter, this Q2, this uh, this this quarter, we will support by the function card. Uh, we we uh, we will support the OPC UAS server server by function card. Uh -huh. Okay, and next one is so does AS support the safety? Safety PLC is also another uh, another very advantage function. So 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 far for the AS we don't plan to put the safety function into it. We we gonna provide another series we we call the AX series with the safety functions, uh in the in the in the in the next or next next year. Okay, and second one is does AS support the I/O link? I/O link mostly linked to the sensor, linked to the instrument. So the answer is yes. We do have the model 
just now just just launched the the model in the in the market uh, for the IO link. And next one is a uh, does AS support is a cat is a cat. So uh, right now we we do have the is a is a cat motion CPU right now. Uh, the control like a sixteen axis by is a cat. And also we will have the the codices platform with the is cat soon. Very soon. And next questions, I some uh, customer told me they 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 heard Delta has one software wire like a Siemens TIA. So how they 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 concern about how big about the installation files because they said the Siemens uh, the TIA after installation is a uh, quite a huge quite a huge capacities. So. Uh, and uh, does it free to use? So, for for Delta, actually, it's, uh, we do have this kind of the software. Uh, I think we we internal run this more than half year already, and we design this more than uh, three or four years internal. We we have a big group, more than hundreds of people R and D, uh, focus on this. And right now, it's already we we I can see we we already have the beta the trial round versions and it's totally free. And if you interested, uh, you can con you can contact with your uh, distributor or your, your your vendor to get the this kind of the trial round versions. And for the installations, actually we 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 do like this. We firstly we provide the user the installer. Installer is just like a 200 megabyte. 200 megabyte. We don't provide a fully file to you first. So after that, in, into this installer, installer, you will see the you will see the download options. Uh, which one you need, which one you don't need, uh, it's up to you. And if you need a fully download, it's only 3.5 gigabyte, 3.5 gigabyte. Then this is very friendly to customer. You because you know. Actually, if you are a programmer, maybe you already install uh, many, many software inside your laptop. So we, we don't want to give you more pressure about the, uh, the loading of the laptop. So this is our uh, answers. So uh, for this DIA Studio, this is what we call the one software. We integrate the PLC servo and the VFD HPMI into it right now. So that means you don't need to uh, open all these separate uh, software, just only one. You can finish all the configuration, finish all the programming, all the parameter setting, data mapping, everything, or even the UI design. And for right, right now, we, we have the three files. You can see the DIA selector. This one focuses on the model selections. And also, we have the mobile phone versions for you. And next one is a DIA designer. This one mostly is the PLC programming. And next one is the DIA screen. This one focuses on the HMI UI design. Okay, and for the DIA uh, apps on the mobile phone, right now we support the Google Android only. Uh, you can go to the Google Play to search the DIA selector. Uh, I think it's quite uh, quite good. I, I've tried this uh, more than, uh, I tried this sometimes already. A few, uh, it, it, I think it's quite good. Uh, you, can, you can select the model directly and share the, the form the bomb list to 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 your to your partners uh, by go through the any uh, applica any application like a line whatsapp and next one is uh, we all record this today's trainings and we will put into the video into the delta youtube channels officially channels and also we you can Go online academies like uh, below here. This is all the Delta industrial automation product learning video. So I, I, it's not like a long, as I could say like a quick start. And then we focus on the 
precise uh, specific uh, functions. You, so you can go to this site to, to learn by yourself. It's uh, totally free. Also, you can scan or log in by the, by the, by the hyperlink here. Oh, okay, and and I think today's uh, training is uh, introduction is uh, finished. So please uh, feel free to ask if you have some question during all the introduction. You can unmute your microphone. Hello. Yes. Uh, my name is Kai Son from JW Tech in Thailand. Yes. I need to know uh, in warehouse function. Uh, yes. I, I have seen at a uh, have a wallet in yes. the warehouse function. Um, I need to know uh, how far is the length of uh, this function. Yes, yes, I, I, I guess your you mean how far is the the network connection, yes, right? Yes, 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 yes. All right. Oh okay, so first we used a wireless Ethernet switch. This is a Wi-Fi by the normal one, just like the, the one in, in your in your con, in your house. Mm -hmm. But second one we use the industry Ethernet switch. So that means it has a more uh, anti uh, uh, noise mm -hmm. as the more the production about the industry side. So mm -hmm. for the distance, actually each of the switch is less than 100 meters, but it depends on the situation. So if your if your uh, uh, the, the the warehouse is very mm -hmm. uh, open, it's very wide, they no uh -huh. nothing between each two device. I could mm -hmm. see. Uh, 80 or even 100 meters, no problem. But, but uh, if if there's there there do have some object between between each of the uh, switch, so you have to check you have to check the signal uh, weak or strength or, or strong. So and if not, it's not so strong, you can we also can put some repeater repeaters into each of the switch. Ah oh, ah oh, ah oh, oh. I see I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Uh, does anyone has other questions? Or if you, you if you do have some parts, not fully understand or have some uh, doubt doubts, you can also uh, ask during the pictures or the specifications. What? Well uh, again, please. Oh, I mean, if you have some uh, question about the introductions, or also you can can ask. Ah, oh, uh, but num uh, today, uh, I get the password is uh, so late. <laughs> uh, in the oh. <laughs> in the half, uh, I I can see in this uh training in the. Uh, Second half only. Oh no no. Uh, for today's training, we will provide the the video into the website. You can uh -huh, uh -huh. go to this website, or you can go to okay. Delta YouTube channel, uh, Delta Thailand, Delta uh, Thailand, to, okay, to okay. get this video. And and okay. so sorry for the password because <laughs> uh, it, because for the for the initially I didn't set the password. But I think uh -huh. uh, this during this time the Zoom this this software this platform, they mm -hmm. they got some uh, uh, they got some uh, from the media so they they want they want to en enhance the security so they forced me to they forced to <laughs> set up the the password sorry we will update uh -huh. the 
we will update the entrance link again to you, to everyone. Okay, okay. Is uh, to, tomorrow you 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 are uh, you tending on tomorrow, right? Yes. For for this week, every day in the same time, we will provide a training. Tomorrow gonna be the another product. Uh, I uh -huh. think it's the inverter, inverter or servos. Okay. In the same okay. time, so please welcome to join. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. 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 So if uh, if no uh, any other questions, we will finish the training by uh, today. So thank you all to to join. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.